Greetings everyone, we're here today, it's lunar eclipse today and I'd like to do a little ritual with you. Uh, first of all, write down on a piece of paper what you want to let go of, I have a long list. And then have the attitude of the gratitude for all the things that happened to you and and write it from the position that you are letting go of it's not you, you're not letting go of somebody else's bad feelings or emotions it's you letting go of your own regrets your own emotions your own attitudes and your own views on a particular matter okay so we're not doing any um, anything on other people we're only can address things within our heart so if somebody um, upset you you can say I release my feelings of upset towards so and so okay so my my daughter's cat is with us <laughs> so that's good we're going to I've got some old papers here I have my old wish board here which I'm very happy a lot of things have happened from it and I can now let that go and uh, have masses of honor and gratitude towards it and I'm just going to draw a card for this guidance for today and guidance for letting go and guidance for surrendering to what is and let's see what that card will be. And the card is Sisters of the Seasons, Cycles of Growth, Natural Law, Divine Order. So very beautiful. I'm going to post a picture of it underneath the video. And more explanation of what that means. But to me, looking at this means that you know it's seasons and in seasons we have to let go of things to be able to then enter into next one right so it all makes sense leaves have to let go of their leaves and the greenery and then so they can be reborn they can be renewed okay so let's begin our Ritual. I'm gonna add some those papers. Whilst I'm doing that, you might want to write down what you want to let go of, and then we can burn it together. Even though we're miles apart. Oh my God! There's a writing here. Is writing. I, I wanted to manifest a house, a particular house, and I've. I'm just writing. I'm just reading what it it was. <laughs> That's amazing. Very nice. Ample parking space near the house that happened. <laughs> Large kitchen that happened. Family bathroom that happened. Two offices in total <laughs> that happened. Spacious garden <laughs> with enough space to build something for my mom to reside in. That is totally happened. That is so weird. With a fireplace. <laughs> And that was in 2018. So, we're 2022 now, aren't we? So that totally happened. Right, okay, let's light it up. Let's light it up. I'm gonna add some kindling.
You gonna burn your whiskers, Missy? You are very, very spiritual cat, aren't you? Oh, that was supposed to go at the bottom. Oh. Okay, so what else I'm going to add? I'm going to add protection. And I'm going to add purification. These are from the um, Star Child. Oh, wow, look at that. It's going wild. Right, let's put it like this. So I've got a little... nice smell so that's my house thank you I give it back to the universe these are all things I want to let go I give it back to the universe with massive gratitude this is a project I was involved in so many women I think there were 42 women involved plus maybe yeah, plus about a dozen of trainees. So over 50 people, 50 women were involved. So I give it back to, you, to the universe with honor and gratitude. And finally is this. This board. Oh, let me see. Holidays, <laughs> classes, affirmations to be yourself in the world that is constantly trying to make you something else is the great accomplishment. Ultimate relationships, family, I'm divinely guided and protected teach trainings I'm involved in I'm the author of my own life I make a difference in the world mm. That back to the universe. Oh, wonderful. Oh. And maybe we can read what guidance the universe gave us today. Number seventeen. Number seventeen in wisdom of the hidden realms. When the sisters of the seasons meet you on your path, they remind you that everything has a natural rhythm that obeys a higher law. Just as the seasons magically pass, be reminded that the nature of birth, growth, harvest and decay cannot be altered. So if you keep on your path with determination and discernment, allowing for the natural course of events to unfold, success is assured. 
Divine appropriate timing is guiding your desires into perfect manifest form. This is a very good period to start new things as you've moved out of winter into the beginning of spring. Continue with patience and be aware of the rhythms of your opportunities. There will be periods when things slow down and begin anew, move into fr fruition and then slow down again in a never-ending natural flow. Be mindful of which sister greets you, for she points directly at the next. Every moment counts now. Challenger, the sisters of the season send you a warning that you're trying to jump the gun and go from winter to summer without paying heed to spring, or skip from summer to winter without allowing for the possibility of autumn. Move in too quickly, looking for shortcuts, and artificially trying to prolong a hoped-for result will not yield what you desire. There are no shortcuts. It's time to rethink your patterns and your plans. All four sisters are nature's cherished daughters, and all are important. Be careful of the difficulties they force you to endure when you try to trick them away from each other. Better to let nature take her course. Her daughters will be very happy, and so will you if you let them express themselves in order. Ah, oh, fabulous. This, the flames are always over. We'll stay with the energies of the lunar eclipse three days before the eclipse and three days after so you can do this ritual you can do this um, letting go and surrendering in the next three days Do you get burned? Come on in. You light the fireplace, don't you? Wonderful. So, yeah. So we're ready. We shattered all we don't, all we no longer need. We can step into a new and start again, start afresh and renew and hope this will help you to do your own ritual. <laughs>